We are just beside Rockley Beach, uh, just beside South Beach Hotel, the Accra Beach Hotel Spa and Resort, and we're with Stetson Wiltshire, uh, who's also known as Red Plastic Bag. He's from the east coast of uh, Barbados, and he is, let me get this right, a Calypsonian. That's right. Um, Stetson Wiltshire, Red Plastic Bag, El Bolso Plastico Rojo. Uh, I'm a Calypsonian here in Barbados, um, composer, um, lyricist. Uh, musician. Stetson, a beautiful island that you have here. This place really is paradise. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we are very proud of this island that we have. Um, friendly people, lots of food, good food that is, lots of drink. Um, you cannot leave here unless you get rum punch or, or rum and coke. Um, we have the best rum in the world here on this island. So you got to make sure that you, you get some of our, of our drink here. And uh, the people are, are very friendly here on this island. So um, we are very proud of our island. I couldn't possibly comment about the rum punch yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is a Calypsonian? A Calyp we um, sing what is called um, a Caribbean ballad, really. Um, that's how it is described in the dictionary. But it is really a song um, that was born out of um, stress and protests. And, uh, and the, the reality is that it, it covers a lot of social commentary, a um, lot of political commentary. Uh, of late, there's a derivative of Calypso called soca music, which is, um, you know, we dance more to that, that, um, that version of it. Um, so it, you can dance to it, but for the most part, Calypso is primarily about social commentary. In terms of your own um, influences, where do they come from? Where, you, where would your own social, uh, where would your own influences come from musically? Uh, yeah, my influences come from, uh, well, my, my general environment, I, I, I feed off my environment, I see myself as a representative of the masses, I see myself as representing that person who doesn't get a chance to go on stage, especially those from the low socio-economic bracket. So when I get a chance to go on stage, I use my music to, um, to represent them. And um, so when I, I, I hear what is going on around my country with regards to the social and economic and political issues, I put it all in song. And um, most of my songs, especially in my earlier years, uh, would have dealt specifically with the um, social and political issues of Barbados. Is it fair to ask you to sing an acapella? Um, um, not, not very fair that is. <laughs> Well, I have a song which really it de deals with um, the music coming out of Jamaica. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they sing, um, music is very, is very strong lyrically, um, but they, they, they use a very strong Jamaican um, accent. And um, I wrote a song um, called Raga Raga because I, I didn't understand what they were saying in the song. So I had a song saying, I don't understand one thing when I try to listen to a dub song. I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried and I know that's something wrong. But every time the DJ decide to play one hands go up in the air. Everybody chanting doing the bogle oh what an atmosphere. But all I hear is raga 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 raga. I hear in that kind of thing. Do you yeah. know what, um, Stetson? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna propose something right now. Yes, I please. reckon me and you, before the end of this uh, special trip that we've taken from Northern Ireland, we from should do Gatwick, a song, right? I am prepared to go back to back with you. <laughs> I'll tell you, I've got music with me. I can cut up a beat. I can scratch it down. I will lay down some beats for you. Live deal. Put it to you right now, deal, deal, and we'll do deal. it on video. <laughs> Bring it on. You set it up. I lure it. Yeah, well, we're ready. Okay. Born ready? Born ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but th that, that song is, is uh, easily my most popular song, recorded in seven different languages um, on, on a Sony compilation with the likes of Celine Dion and Culture Club and all, uh, and all of them. It's a theme song about a Norwegian liner. Um, there's a, a dance movement in Colombia called the Raga Raga Dance Movement. It's like an extremely popular song. And I'm right in saying, I, I've read um, a little bit, I did a little bit of research on you before we had a chat. You, well, you did. Uh, yeah, well, absolutely. You have to, every time. Um, am I right in saying that you've won quite a lot of competitions recently I've done uh, I, I've done a lot of competitions I've actually won uh, a lot of competitions um, I've won almost every competition here um, in terms of Calypso music 10 times Calypso Monarch um, of, of this island and Calypso the Calypso Monarch competition is really the premier Calypso Monarch Calypso competition 
on the island is the premier competition for a crop over season which um culminates to the beginning of, of august and um yeah i've actually won that competition 10 times i've done quite well in that competition listen it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you indeed a pleasure and I'm going to take you up. I'm going to take you up on, on that <laughs> offer. Uh, anytime you're feeling <laughs> lucky, punk. <laughs> um, what would you like to say to the people of Northern Ireland that are kind of maybe dipping their toe into the prospect of potentially either winning a competition to come here before the end of the week or maybe even thinking about coming here? I would like to say to you, when you come to Barbados, you will have a taste of paradise. Barbados is a beautiful island. Uh, we would love to have you here. You're going to enjoy it here. Wonderful beaches, food, and the people are friendly. Welcome to Paradise. That pretty much says it all for me. The very first uh, minute, second that we landed on this beautiful island was at the airport. Um, and I said to our producer, my boss, Stuart Robinson, this is the most chilled out airport in the world. And it's, that's, that's what it is. It's chilled out. It's relaxed. It's, it's taking a big, deep breath and realizing why you're here. Barbados is indeed a lifestyle. When you come here, relax. Take it easy. Slow down. Just take it easy. There you go. From the man himself.